Due to the recent release of 1.08 on Experimental, I decided to make a base building guide, which incorporates how to build your base for these changes. If you find this guide helpful, please consider subscribing to my channel. First, you'll need to make sure that you have got all the tools required to build your base. These consisting of rope to create your fence or watchtower kit, an axe or hatchet to cut down trees, a shovel to put up foundations, a hacksaw to turn logs into planks, nails to build the fences, pliers and metal wire to turn a fence into a gate, and a code or combination lock to secure your build. Once you have got all of the equipment needed, you must decide where you want to build your base. You can choose either to build your base from scratch outside somewhere, or you could choose to fortify a building that is already in the game. For today, I will be fortifying a building, as I believe this is the better choice for the future due to the 1.08 base rating changes. To start building, you will need to take your hatchet and cut down a bush. This should drop a long stick, which you can then split with your hatchet to get three short sticks. If you do this twice, you should have six short sticks, which is enough to craft a fence kit with two sticks and a rope, as well as a watchtower kit with four sticks and a rope. Now you should choose the placement of your first fence. Once you have chosen the position of the fence, you will need two wooden logs to make the foundations. To get the logs, you must chop down large trees, as smaller trees will not give you the logs. You can get up to three wooden logs per tree depending on the size. Once you have chopped down the trees, you can take the logs back to your base and attach them to the kit. Then you should use your shovel to build the foundation. Don't forget to pick up the fence or watchtower kit after using it as it can be used again. Now you'll need to gather six more logs for the full fence structure. These should be combined with your hacksaw to create three wooden planks per log, giving you the 18 planks required for the fence. There is also another way to get planks, which is to use a hacksaw at a wood pile. However, these are dynamic events and the location of these isn't guaranteed or helpful in most cases. Once you have the planks, they should be attached to the fence along with at least 36 nails. You will then be able to build the fence structure with a hatchet or hammer. Although, if you are using the hammer, be careful not to build the wrong thing, as you will not be able to dismantle anything with the hammer. Do not worry if this happens though, as you will still be able to dismantle whatever you have built wrong with the hatchet. Around this stage, you should be careful that none of your tools get too damaged, and you should remember to repair them when needed with duct tape. If you're using the hatchet, you can also use a sharpening stone. Once the upper and lower frame is built, it is possible to turn the fence into a gate. To do this, you should attach a metal wire to the fence and use your pliers to make the gate. Now you are also able to lock the gate with a combination or code lock, depending on the server. You should make sure that you select the code you want before you place it on the gate. From here, you should finish the fence with the remaining planks. You can also use sheet metal, although there is a possibility that you may get shot through a metal fence. However, after a lot of testing, I can confirm that neither containers nor other gates will be damaged through a sheet metal or wooden fence. Now that you have finished your first gate, be sure to remove any materials as these can be used later on. A lot of houses will have windows that players can boost into. Because of this, you should aim to block any windows that you can get through. Previously, you may have tried blocking windows or doorways with tents. With 1.08, this will not work as tents are very easy to destroy. You should now try to airlock your base so that it isn't possible to get all of your loot from breaking just one wall. Hopefully this guide has given you everything you need to start building. Once you have the basic skills, it's very easy to start getting creative. Thank you for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.